staying with economic matters, experts at the Africa Oil and Power Conference in Cape Town are calling for greater investment in the continent's energy sector. Well, Africa reportedly only holds a, a negligible share of a multi-trillion rand global industry. Public and private sector role players are discussing the challenges and opportunities of Africa's energy sector. In this room are some of the most powerful players in the African energy sector. But while major oil and gas fines are made in more countries on the continent, it does not necessarily translate into prosperity for its people. Experts say Africa can easily compete with the major oil and gas game changers globally in terms of supply, but investment remains a challenge. If you look at overall energy investment across all energy resources, 1.85 trillion was spent throughout the world last year. Africa only accounts for 2.5% of that. So you're talking about, about 1.2 billion people uh, who are struggling with only about 2.5% of the investment. Just to put that in perspective, that's only about $60 per person in Africa that's being invested, uh, and that's just insufficient. African countries agree that the fossil fuel energy sector is a major component of its development while recognizing that global warming is a major threat. But leaders warn there needs to be a balance. If you really look who are the countries who are making discoveries are African countries. You have the huge discovery of Senegal, you have the huge discovery of Mozambique. So to say to those countries who have the resources not to develop it is very unfair. Now why we say it's unfair because we keep insisting that we need to look on both sides regarding climate change. We need to look at the producer and the consumers. I insist one of the biggest problems is the consumers because the consumers are the ones who have to change their habits. The African Energy Chamber says free market capitalism is still the best way to grow economies and countries should be unapologetic about it. But there must be an African angle to extract and best serve the needs of the people. Key components here are skills development and investment. If we don't promote growth and capitalism and those values. It's not get capitalism the way you see. We are never going to take our resources and be real stewards of our resources. We are going to always wait on others to come invest and we are at the begging end. It's time for us to be real stewards of our resources and drive it up. So I want kids from Soweto or from Lagos or Port Harcourt or from Accra to be part of that. They should get up dreaming dreams, big dreams that someday they can come from. It doesn't matter where you come from, but you can be right up there. The South African Minister of Mineral Resources and Energy, Gwede Mantashe, is expected to address the conference tomorrow. Mariska Boeta, SABC News, Cape Town.